Hey, and I told you I'd do a review. Even though I'm sick. Even though I'm ill, I'm still making a review for, your go for you guys because I love you. And you deserve it. I mean, it's been a long, long time since I did a review. And also, another energy drink review. You know Rockstar? They've only brought out a litre bottle for £1.69, so I'm buying it and reviewing it very soon. Yes, you can tell the excitement. As you know, this game's Grand Turismo. Released back in 1998 in Europe. I think it was. So it's out on the box. Um, it was the first proper racing game that was sold big. So you'd have Rage Racer, Ridge Racer. But this was the first one that sold amazingly big. Also, it made massive use of the analog controller, which was a new thing back then. So as you're starting to erase, you don't get the... Compared to like Gran Turismo 5 and Gran Turismo PSP and Gran Turismo 4, what you get now, you don't get a massive choice of cars. <clears throat> but for the time, it was amazing. See, you time attack. See, you only have 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 mags of cars. You have Nissan, Honda, Mazda, Mitsubishi, Aston Martin, Chevrolet. Now, in each group you don't get many cars, compared to the 400 odd cars you get these days, it's not as much as you used to. I always used to choose Chevrolet, Corvette, Grand Sport, because I always thought it was the best car to buy. So, um, I'm waiting standard, uh, automatic. And if we just do a quick race on, let's do the high speed ring for a laugh. So, the graphics aren't the best in the world, but from back then it was amazing. And the music in the background, it's crisp, clean, clear sound. And it's just brilliant. This game was amazing when it was released. It's a defo 10 out of 10 because it was like, the best game in the world. Now, X is your accelerator map, triangle is your reverse, and R1 is if you change and everything. Square is your brake. And the only thing I don't like about this game is when you go into a spin but keep your finger on X, you keep going round in circles and circles and circles and never seem to stop. I'll try and show you a good example now. Okay. Right, now. Maybe not. That weren't the best example. Okay. There, usually, you come out of it, but you just keep going round and round and round. And even if you click the other way, it's still hard to get into the way you need and you get into circles. So you need to stop, stop totally. Reverse out, bang in the right way, and you sort it. And off we go again. So, compared to Gran Turismo 4, the graphics aren't the best, and you don't get the greatest selection of cars, tracks, or um, music. But for when it was released, it was such a brilliant game. I mean, You've got the pinpoint accuracy, I mean, you've actually got speed, which you know, might not know, know what I'm talking about, but it's a big factor what they're missing on Grand Turismo 3 and 4. You go fast, the scene moves slow. But on this, you go fast, the scene moves fast with you, like all the lines going fast. It doesn't seem to go very fast on Grand Turismo 3 or 4. <clears throat> so, um, yeah, I'll probably do sound funny because I'm stuffed up and dead, but I'm dying basically. Um, I won't tell you where I got a cold, but I always say it's something worse like AIDS or cancer, you know. I don't mean to take the piss out of people who have got cancer, I mean I do think it's a serious illness and it should be cured. But this is actually enough about my jokes and everything. <laughs> Anyhow, back to the game. So if we quit this, exit the game, and I'll show you Gran Turismo mode. It was the first game where you could actually have a career on a racing game. Which was quite interesting back then, because for the amount of cars you can buy, you couldn't buy many cars. So if we go back and go onto the main menu and Gran Turismo mode, this is a game on all Gran Turismo modes. <laughs> and basically it's where you can buy a car, do races, earn money, buy better cars and do everything. So if we you start with, I think it's £10,000. Yeah, you're going to use cars because it's cheaper. And then there are a lot more choices of cars. So let's see what else there is to buy. Let's try Chrysler. Nope, you can't have that. There's their new cars. We're like 8,000. So let's just buy a shitty Mazda just to show you what it's like. Let's buy that one. Nope. Let's buy the 1990V Special. 
now I've bought a car. Now I have no money left whatsoever. So, and now you can test it to see how fast it is. You can do a 400 meter test, a 1000 meter test, or a max, which is a whole lap. Which, this tests for the maximum speed of your car. Also, you can do licenses. You can do A, B, C license. No, A, not a B, a B, and A, an international license, I think. Something like it's been ages since I played it. So, like, yeah, this is, this is just test the main speed of your car. The top speed. There's the speed on my train, it calculates your speed down here. So, at the moment, I'm pushing it, I'm pushing it, I'm pushing it. 0 to 60 in three weeks. Come on, go faster, you can hit 300 at least. Come on, hit 200 at the end of this straight if you don't use such a rubbish car. Go on, 50 kilometers to go. Come on. 30. Now you're pushing it, come on, go, go. You are a shit car. Top speed on that straight was 190, oh, oh, 200 on the grass. So, the top speed so far is 201 kilometers an hour. Let's see if we can up that in a bit on the next straight. How are we doing for time? Video's on for 6 minutes 30 so far, so I'm doing good. And to say I haven't sneezed or coughed yet once is brilliant. There you go, pushing up to 207. 210, 211, we're going back to the future. 88. <laughs> okay. What we achieve on this straight? 230, do you reckon we can push it to? Around this corner. Come on, you need another few kilometers an hour. If I can get to 230, that's fairly alright, I suppose, but it's still pretty cool. Now I've only got like a thousand kilometers kilometers to go. In a thousand kilometers I need to get ten kilometers an hour. Come on. Five kilometers four. Come on, three more. Two more. Uh, oh. Two two seven kilometers an hour. That's a pretty poor car. But it's not bad. So, we now my car can reach 227 kilometers. That's not bad for a 1990s used car. I'll be quite happy with that myself. So now you can do random stuff like car wash, but I don't think my car needs a wash just yet. No, not yet. It's 50 anyway. So you can have go racing, have races, a time trial, sport, or event. Um, these are the licenses. Your B, your A, and your international license. Basically, it's just starting and stopping, doing corners, laps, and you know, beating certain times, and you can't go on the grass, and etc., etc. <clears throat> so let's try this. <laughs> now you have to brake on the end. Where do you brake? You can't choose your car, they give you car for you. And I think I'm gonna sneeze. It sucks being ill. Have I got a break? Oh, it must be on a thousand mile. Okay, coming up to it now. That was poor. Yeah, I fell because I braked like right early. So I'll try again. I'll try and stop this video about 10 minutes. So now we can upload up to like 12 minutes, isn't there? But there's not much else to say about this game apart from the graphics for the time were brilliant, the cars for the time were brilliant, the music was brilliant, the way it's, the game's progressed is brilliant. And to say in this sequel, you've got after this. Just from this first game, back in 1998, 1997 time. It's just immense, so it definitely deserves a 10 out of 10. Because I, I remember when I was little, spending hours on this game. 
absolutely errors playing this game. I'll give up. No. So yeah, there's your review I promised I'd do. Thanks for watching. I know we're the best review in the world, but I'm I'm ill, so give me the benefit of the doubt. And um, thanks for watching. I'll catch you later, where it will be a Rockstar Energy Drink review next. Even though I've already done a Rockstar one, but this is advertising the new a bottle and extra, extra, etc. Et <laughs> Hopefully, I'll be feeling a bit better by morning. So thanks for watching. Catch you later, and love you all. Subscribe, rate, comment, and do all the usual shit, and tell your friends. Put it on Facebook. Put it on Twitter because I do want to make this channel big and there will be a review coming every week because I've actually enjoyed doing this thank you